Okay, so, mastermind. If you've clicked on this video, you're probably wondering what makes me such an expert on massage chairs. Um, and the answer is, I'm not an expert on the chairs, I'm an expert on the results. Uh, many, many years ago, when I was 18, I was earning some extra money by driving, and um, and a garage had to pick a car up in Harrogate. I offered to to drive. Um, I was taking the the boss there, and uh, doing a deal. Coming back, he didn't like driving so much. So anyway, we set off in our car, did the deal. No no problems, and we were coming back in. It was for a local firm. And the, the deal was very, very important because it, it, was, it was many, many cars. And we were coming back in the part exchange, which was a Ford Escort estate. We were coming through Harrogate and the, the golf club was on the left. There's kind of a dual carriageway there. It was absolutely lashing down. It was terrible rain. The weather was awful. Um, spoiler alert, the dog's okay at the end. We're going down the dual carriageway a dog ran out in front of the car in front of me. The car hit it and knocked it to the side of the road and the car was left in the middle of the road and he stopped. I stopped, I'd left plenty of room. I looked in my mirror and I could see a car coming up and I thought this guy isn't gonna stop. Anyhow, <laughs> I was behind this car here but I'd left plenty of room so in order to make more room for this guy to skid, I went to the side of the car in front of me that knocked the dog down. The dog was on the floor in front of me. Car coming up, just smashed into the back of the side of me at a, a heck of a rate of knots, but obviously I'd given it probably another 15, well, by the time I'd moved up, probably about another 20 foot. To, to skid and, and scrub speed off. So it didn't do as much damage to that car as it would have done to me. That's when I noticed a Capri injection in my rear view mirror. And this guy was hooking it up the dual carriageway. And I knew he was never gonna stop. Now my only choices there were to knock the dog over again, get out of there, except a lady who'd been on the pavement saw the dog get knocked down, stepped off the pavement and was tending to the dog or started to tend to the dog. Now, in all honesty, I couldn't have knocked the dog over. I, I just couldn't do it. But anyway, that was my choice. Either run over them two or just hope for the best. I made a mistake. The mistake I made was me driving, I put my foot on the brake, braced myself against the steering wheel, and then my passenger, I put no seat belts in those days. I can't remember whether we had seat belts on or not. Probably we did, but I put my arm across my passenger, uh, and like so, the Capri injection, we're now level, me and the car there, level, so he had no choice really. And, it, and he just skidded into the back of us, absolutely smashed the back end of this Escort estate. Um, the guy next to me, my boss, was wearing a cap. His cap ended up on the rear parcel shelf of this Escort estate. Um, we got out, and then, as soon as we got out, I knew there was something not quite right. Um, I, I couldn't... I was, I was kind of hopping to start off with. I was more concerned with the dog, to be, to be honest, than I was with myself. Um, I was kind of hopping and pain in my back, pain in my neck. And it, in those days, it wasn't like, you know, somebody runs into the back of you and, and you've got whiplash and, and you, you just like shook it off and, and got on with it. There was, there was no big compensation claim, so it, I wasn't trying to get one. I wish I'd got one now. But anyway, over the next weeks and months, my back got worse and worse. And my neck was worse and worse. I, uh, 
I could I can I could hardly walk. Uh, I could I couldn't move my legs properly, full stretch. Um, I was in a in a, a right state, and I, I went to the doctors, and the doctors gave me painkillers, and more painkillers, and more pain, and they just weren't working. I don't like taking tablets anyway, and it, in the end, I went to um, I was going to, for physiotherapy at the hospital. That wasn't doing me any good. Then I went to a lady called Dorothy Griffiths, an osteopath in Preston, and my my mate who uh, was a footballer. The, the football team used to go and see her, and she was brilliant. And it, it, I could honestly, I could hardly walk. It took her about seven weeks to get me walking again properly, which is something the physiotherapist couldn't do, and, and the people at the hospital. But my back needed uh, manipulation every, basically every week for for months and months, if if not years. Um, and it was, I think it was, at the time it was about £25 per quarter an hour. So you can imagine how much money I spent. The doctor also sent me for acupuncture. I bought a TENS machine. I bought all sorts of other different massage um, gear to try and keep my back moving. I was doing exercises and, and in the end the, the, the doc sent me to... Uh, Preston Royal Infirmary for a scan and they did a scan and discovered that vertebrae 4 and 5 I think were damaged when I went back to see the specialist uh, he told me this he broke the news to me which I, I knew there was something not quite right anyway he broke the news to me and then he said right well you have to go we've, we've got a brace and you have to go for a fitting and this is years later Years, I've spent thousands of pounds on, on therapy. Years later, you, you have to go for a fitting. So uh, I said, fitting? Yeah, we, we've got a brace for you, for your back. If you wear it during the day at work and, and so on, it'll support your back and therefore it won't go into spasm as much. You won't need as much treatment. So I went to this, <laughs> he told me where to go. And I, and I went, and there was two ladies there. I says, I've, I've come for a, a brace. And she said, well, we, you know, we, you're going to have to wait. Um, we, we've got to measure up and, and, and fit it. And I, I said, fit it? How do you mean fit it? And she said, well, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a support which keeps your back straight. And it's, it's like a corset. And she brought this thing out that looked like a torture device. And it, it had basically had a piece of angle iron in the back, which just held your back dead straight. So you, you were strapped onto this angle iron, you couldn't move. I said, I can't, I can't wear that, I've got a Porsche. <laughs> I, can't, I won't be able to get in and out of it. So I left it, I thought, right, that, that's it, I've finished. Anyway, I then started trying to uh, get things of my own to fix it. And I came across a traction bed on a medical site in, in the United States. It was £10,000. But at the, the, the rate I was spending money then, uh, and £10,000 then was probably about £40,000 now, and the pain I was in, um, and the fact I, could, I couldn't really play sports, I couldn't, I couldn't go for a walk, my leg was going dead, I, I couldn't go bike riding, and, and quality of life was just shocking. So I got all the way through ordering this traction bed, um, which was a proper, like, like one you'd see in a hospital, all the way through, I, right up until the last bit where it, the lady said to me, and I was on the phone, it was a credit card job over the phone to, to ship it over. And she said, what's your medical certificate number? I said, I'm, I'm not a doctor, I, I've, just, I've just got a bad back. And she said, oh, I'm sorry, we, I, I, can't, uh, I can't let you have one. You, you've got to be in the medical profession. So that scuppered that. Another couple of weeks later, I discovered there was a kind of a suitcase version, which as the, it suggests, is it opens out. It's like a suitcase. It opens out. 
you, you put a strap round here, a strap round there, and then there's a pump. And the two parts of the circuit, the, the suitcase, you pump it and, and it moves apart, basically stretching you, stretching your spine. And they, they sent me that, that came from America too. They sent me that, uh, and when, when it came, inside was a big uh, sheet of paper and big red letters saying, only use this if you're a medical professional. So anyway, I, I, I used it, but it wasn't fantastic. A few months after that, um, I was told about a hot tub um, and the, the benefits from a hot tub. I bought one. That cost me 10,000 quid. Um, and believe me, certainly then and not now, I wasn't made of money, but I, for basically quality of life for my work, I needed to get my back sorted. I needed something that would keep this keep my back moving not let it go into spasm and i got the hot tub put it in my garden and i used to go in it in the morning before i went to work and then the evening when i come home and and probably after 18 months of doing that every single day my back eased up and it and it it became manageable um it instead of remembering the 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 uh, spasm position and thinking that was normal it my back my muscle memory re remembered the comfortable and uh, elasticated version that i used to be and i was fine only every so often if i did something stupid like pushing a car i, I do a lot of stupid things lifting heavy batteries engines gearboxes all that sort of thing that you'd think somebody with a bad back wouldn't do I did. So again, I, I sometimes I had to go back. First of all, I had to go back to Dorothy Griffiths, the osteopath, and, and she basically manipulated my back so it came out of spasm. Then I could go back in my hot tub and it was fine. Been been fine ever since, um, up until <laughs> up until uh, a couple of years ago. When at the age of 63, I decided to take up snowboarding. I've always wanted to snowboard. So I bought all the equipment, <laughs> the jackets, the best snowboard, <laughs> step on, Burton step on boots. Um, and I started to take lessons. <laughs> my, my snowboard wasn't the beginner type. Uh, it was the professional type with a very sharp edge, edges that, that catch if you look at them. And I, I started to take snowboard lessons. And uh, I, I always think I'm better than I am at anything. Going down the hill, running away with me. I tried to turn, basically spray snow, to... Uh, to, or on my tiptoes, turn sideways, on my tiptoes, dig the board in, spray snow, stop, fall forward. That was the idea, because I was going too fast. What actually happened is, instead of the front edge of my snowboard catching in the snow, spraying snow, my back edge caught in the snow, and I went bang, <laughs> and landed on my, my head and my neck. And I, I, heard, a, I heard a nasty noise. But I got up straight away because everybody was looking, and and I must I probably was bright red because there's all these little kids around me just whizzing past me right and left, like they'd been snowboarding for 50 years, like I should have been. And uh, anyway, same thing happened. My neck. After a couple of days, I'd got <laughs> buzzing in my arms. I couldn't. I couldn't stand the weight of my own arms. It was like they they were pulling on my neck, getting this like <laughs> sort of faint feeling in my head. I couldn't. I couldn't turn my head like like so. I, I was, you know, if I wanted to turn around, I'd, I'd have to do that. And uh, it had become a pain again. <laughs> so. I used to live in a, a detached house 
<laughs> when I got a bit older, I thought I'd be better off with an apartment. I don't want all these gardens and conservatory and all that rubbish to look after. I'll just get an apartment. So I sold my hot tub. So I haven't got my hot tub to go in anymore. I'm on the second floor, so I can't put one on me on my balcony either or or in here. So I bought another kind of tens machine, a neck brace. A, like a pad that goes over your, your office chair with these massaging nodes in. And um, <laughs> they're, they're okay, not bad. I also went back to the physiotherapist every week. Now it's 45 quid for, sorry, the osteopath, uh, 45 quid every week. I was going to see a physiotherapist who was brilliant. I've got to say this, the, physiotherapist was brilliant and I'd seen the doctor and the doctor sent me for an x-ray and I've now damaged my neck <laughs> so I spoke to the doctor and I've got to say the doctors I used to be with were brilliant the doctors up the road here are absolutely useless uh, the people skills <laughs> and the communication are rubbish Anyway, I went for an x-ray, the x-rayed my, my neck, and uh, the doctor rang me, because of course you can't, you can't go and see him anymore. So he rang me and said, uh, you've got degradation or something of you up here, I forget what it was. To be honest, he, he, he got right on my nerves to, to start off with. And he said, so um, yeah, so, so that's it. I, I, oh, an old age. So thanks very much. <laughs> so I said, so, right. So what? What do I do? What you? You know, what's the cure? I, I want to be going snowboarding and holidays and and stuff. Make the most of it. And he said, it's never going to get any better. That's it. So I said, well, is there anything I can do? He says, yeah. You well, we can give you injections in your neck, um, cortisone injections. At, they won't last very long. Uh, I said, well, what, anything? Yeah, he says, you can have an operation that may or may not work. And, and I just thought, you know, fantastic. You know, thanks very much. I know it was a stupid thing for me to do, but at least you could suggest something. So that was it. I was, I was kind of resigned to not being able to do anything again, being in agony, being uncomfortable. And uh, as luck would have it, I have a YouTube channel. I review our cars, I sell cars. And over the years, it's got pretty popular. We've got 28,000 subscribers. We've got 35,000 subscribers in all and 30-odd and million views. As I've been doing these car reviews, People have been sending me stuff to to review as well that that they think I might find interesting or help. Dent tools, diagnostic equipment, uh, coffee machines. <laughs> you car salesman, you know, you got to have a coffee machine, haven't you? And I'm pretty good at working them. So all all sorts of stuff like that. And then out of the blue, I got a. I thought it was a wind up at first. I, I really did think it was a wind-up. Um, I got a live chat. Uh, is this Barry Crampton? Yes. I'm such and such a buddy from this firm. Um, we were wondering if you'd be interested in reviewing our massage chair. And I, I thought, I'd look with that. It's one, one of these things, you know, you know when you, you're talking about something and then all of a sudden you go on Facebook and that item's promoted. Well, I'd actually been looking at massage chairs. I'd been looking at them because I thought if I can get one of these massage chairs at home, it might be as good as my hot tub. Um, and in the comfort of my own home, again, I was. by the time you go to for physio, find parking, uh, it was half an hour away. It's, it's like two hours, two and a half hours out of your day. You come back and you, you're like covered in blooming whatever it is, that 
oil. Um, so, and doing that twice a week. So I, I just, I'll get a massage chair. So anyway, I'd, I'd been looking at them. And then when this lady rang up, well, he live chatted me and said, would you review our massage chair? At first I said, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm too busy doing videos. And she was a bit taken aback, I think. Um, and she kind of said, are you sure? So I said, well, what is it you want to send me? And she told me the name and the website. And I looked on the website and I saw this chair. <laughs> and I thought, oh, wow, <laughs> I want that chair. That, that looks absolutely just what I've been looking for. So I persevered and uh, we, we, we talked and uh, uh, exchanged messages. And, I, and I, I said, look, you know, that would be perfect because I have, I've got a really, really bad back. And if you want somebody to test it thoroughly, then I'm the guy. A few weeks later, um, they sent me this chair. They, it came to the garage because I thought it would come during the day. Uh, so it came to the garage, two guys assembled it for me. And I had it in the garage for about two or three days. Then I paid somebody to bring it home. And I'm not kidding. I've been on it. You're only supposed to go on it for 30 minutes a day. Um, let's say I go on it for 30 minutes a day. Let, let's just say that. But there's, there's so many programs on here. And I'm not kidding. I really, really, in fact, I might do, email the doctor and said, you know when you said it won't get any better? It'll never get any better. Well, it has. Thank you to, I'm not sure how you pronounce the name, Fuji Ryoki. But thank you to them and, and the firm that supplied me with this. I, I can actually, my neck, honestly, I, I was like that before. I, I can... I can turn right round, up, down, so on, side to side. And, and even the bottom of my back, which is still a little bit tender, it, it's just brilliant. There's specific programs for bottom of your back, for your feet, for your shoulders. But the, there's, a, there's a massage called the sommelier. And they're 30-minute massages, so <laughs> watch this. That's on. Your, your remote you can you can take out if you want, like so. So. So that's it. This is the. That's the remote control. Those are the thirty-minute ones there. Thirty-minute Pro. There's a VIP and a sommelier. Which I believe is somebody who knows a lot about wine. So just now it's measuring me. I'm not kidding. I can't lie. I, I know I'm a car salesman and I can't lie to save my life. But <laughs> I've already tried videoing this a couple of times and I've not been able to do it because the faces I pull when it's massaging my back. And it looks like I'm in pain, but I'm, it's not pain, it, it's ecstasy. Now that's measuring my spine. I don't know whether you saw that there, but it, now it's detecting. It measures your back, measures the curvature of your spine. There's rollers up the back. These airbags, I think 31 airbags. So many programs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, a video on each one. It's tapping me in the back there now, which you can probably see. I'm not, I'm not dancing. So it's saying start. So I click start. You've got mechanical there, roller. Don't, <laughs> Uh, that's the face, sorry. The rollers are doing my the bottom of my feet. Now, I, I've, I've been to Thailand and had a foot massage and they, they have this thing that's like a wooden paper knife that they stick in the bottom of your feet on, on your pressure points. And the first time they do it, you nearly jump through the roof. The second time, it's, oh, that's, that's not so bad. And the third time, by the time I, I came out of a... A foot massage place in um, 
Paquette, and I thought I'd got different legs. I, I thought somebody had, I thought I'd swapped legs with her, like a 16 year old. The airbags there, the, the holding my ankles. It's got airbags here, you'll see there. I've not put my arms in. I'm gonna put this down in a second, but, you, right. So the rollers at the bottom are, are on two. I'll put that down. There you go. I'm not doing anything. Now you can. This, this is caught. This is like a, a zero gravity position. I'm I'm a little bit too big for this position. So I can also. That's the airbags on my shoulder. I'll, I'm just going to move. The feet part down. There you go. That's that's me now. It'll carry on in a second. I'm going to put my arms in here. So. That's it. So that's the, the airbags in the shoulder working, squeezing me in. In the, <laughs> now now it's it's got hold of my legs, it's got hold of my shoulders, it's stretching me. In now it's the uh, well it's it actually tells it actually tells me. It says First of all, kneading up, or knead up, and then knead down. So it's going up and down my back. It's pressing into my back, which is, and and it, it's it's now doing my feet. So it slowly started moving from my shoulders down my back, and then the two rollers at either side spread out. So it's kind of like a that sort of movement down your shoulders <laughs> it's just heaven the rollers are doing my feet this 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 kind of you can feel a big roller and then a smaller roller it it moves along or it turns sideways so it does the muscle down the outside of your foot and also the one when you've done a lot of walking that's, that gets very, very tight between your big toe and your heel, that tendon, it massages there, frees, loosens all your, your muscles off in your feet. The airbags are at the back of my calves now and the shiatsu massage on my shoulders. Now, there's, there's an airbag under my left buttock that, now the one under my right one is is inflating so it's turning my spine anti-clockwise and clockwise from the waist again left and it, it's able it, it's able to move you in into positions that one physiotherapist couldn't turning your hips and pressing your spine sideways that's that's just and th this is this is basically all the maneuvers on my waist that the osteopath used to do to get my back working again but but while while the osteopath is doing my waist I've got somebody massaging my shoulders and and also having a Thai foot massage and the hand one hasn't started yet. It will do in a second. You can also, I, the, the foot one, I, could, I couldn't stand on two to start off with. It, it, sometimes I had to turn it off completely, but after a couple of weeks, I'm now used to it. I'm still only on mechanical uh, position four. So, there's way, way more. And it apparently it senses how tight the muscles are, so applies more pressure and, and knows. I, I, it says the chair has artificial intelligence. Now, and also 5D. That's, that's now doing my lower back lumbar area the sciatic area is it and the airbags on my waist 
underneath my buttocks and my feet being done, airbags on my shoulders now and the, the what was it, spinal need. That, it tells you what the rollers are performing. Okay, now I'm, all this is automated. There's quicker programs, there's specialised ones for if, if you don't want your whole body doing, if it's just your shoulders or, or, or feet or, or back. But I find myself now, I get up in the morning, because after I've been in the car for any length of time or in bed, my back sticks. <laughs> That says rolling tapping. It's tapping all up my spine. <laughs> oh God, I've lost my, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> Massage in my shoulders again. That, that kind of the, the thumb massage around your shoulder blades. Oh, I've missed the airbags now. The airbags have gone off in the arms. Right, I'll get my arms back in there quick because. So that's, that's doing my, my forearms and my, the palms of my hands squeezing. Um, where was, gosh, where was I? Right, so when I've been in bed for well, six hours, seven hours, my back tends to stiffen up. So I get up in the morning. The first thing I do is walk in here, sit in the chair, and I set it for the, the stretching massage. It does a 30 minute stretch. And then I'm, I'm right for the day. It, it gets my back moving. I think it was Groucho Marx who said that uh, if I'd have known I was gonna live this long, I would have taken better care of my body. Well, that's me. <laughs> and And, Really, that's how I feel now. That's extreme, it's called extreme tapping. And at the same time, I'm having my feet massaged. <laughs> oh, let's, I've also, one of the main things, behind my head, there's a cushion. You can put the cushion over your head and then you get an even harder massage, your back's near the rollers. So you get a harder massage, a more extreme massage. That's fantastic. There is two panels at the side, which you can unzip. They're heating elements. So you can either have them heating your back or you can hook them over your shoulders and they, they heat your front. There's pads in the, in the feet to warm your feet. It's doing, it says shoulder blade line now. I've got another 20 minutes to go. Now, again, the rollers are strong enough to actually lift you up. And I'm assuming that that takes into account Normally when you're having your back massage, you're face down and somebody's pressing on you um, and you can't move anywhere. So therefore, whatever pressure they, they apply to your back in whatever points goes directly in because you, you, your front can't move. The only movement is in your muscles. Here, depending on how heavy you are, you can move, so it can actually, if your muscles really stiff, like mine are sometimes, it can, it can virtually push you out of the way with your muscle. So, some bright spark has calculated all these, or the artificial intelligence calculates it all. And, and just massages you to perfection. Um, When I get home from work, I have this full massage, either this sommelier one 
or the VIP one. And then before I go to bed, I have a relaxing massage. So not only is my quality of life during the day better, because I don't, I don't have to keep going, Ugh, every time I sit in a car or turn my head, but I'm sleeping better. <laughs> It takes me all my time, never mind having trouble falling to asleep, it takes me all my time to, to get out of this chair. I could quite happily go to sleep in the chair and that's it. Once I've had a massage, I get up, just about manage to get in bed and then I fall asleep straight away. This is the best thing ever. I I don't want to spoil too much because I'm going to do a whole series of these videos and tell you all the benefits. I'm, I'm a salesman. I've been a salesman a long time. If I was going to sell you this machine, it, or well, let me put it this way. If I was selling you a car, which is what I do, I would talk to you and ask you a lot of questions and I'd find out What's important to you? You know, you, you, you may have had a bad accident like me. Safety is important. Um, economy may be important. But whatever it is, I would then structure my sales pitch to include those things that are important to you. I'm going to do this a little bit differently because here I'm the customer. <laughs> I used to play a lot of football. I've got a bad left knee. I used, to, I used to ride motorbikes and it used to, when it was cold, my knee used to seize up. I've got a bad back. <laughs> I've got a bad neck. I bust my wrist in another car accident, as you can see. <laughs> that, could have, that could have healed better. So now, w when I'm doing anything, I have a pain from my wrist down here and down to my thumb. <laughs> this is a preci precision spiral need, <laughs> easy for me to say. Again, the airbags doing my calves. And it, it's, it's also got this kind of pressure it applies like so. It, a, a, again, a, a, a kneading sort of um, application. That's round my, f oh it gosh, it's inflating round my feet. That usually means it's going to, it's going to, there you go. That, that pulls you. So I'm now pretty fast on the seat. It's stretching my legs, my calves, my thighs, my ankles. Now my arms. But th this would be, this would be three people working on you, <laughs> at least. The, the waist bit, which I find particular, it's just gone onto my waist now, or, or that area. Again, it's, it's inflating two airbags underneath my bottom. Now my sides, just above my hips, now my shoulders but it's able to move me it's able to to move my spine at here lifts you up like that and then so you your spine is turned and then an airbag comes in from the side so your spine's turned like that and then it presses like so so it, it's moving it and then it does it from the other side so it moves it really throughout it's at least 180 degrees, and by turning it, I would say you'd probably get to kind of 270 degrees, but you'll never get 360 because you'd have to have something on top of you here, or it'd have to be higher up and, and you know, something pressing down on your stomach. It's, it's just, it's such a fantastic design. And getting, getting back to, 
apparently these people were the first people or, or the the guy who invented massage chairs <laughs> he's it, it, just pushing me between his shoulder blades and it's heaven <sighs> the, the makers of this massage chair the, the original chap invented the first massage chair I think it was 1954 and it, it was basically made out of, of bits laying about bike chains and stuff I'll try and remember to, to cut a picture of, of the thing in. And it's developed ever since then. And these are the chairs that are copied. You'll see them, I've seen them cheaper. I've seen them cheaper on Amazon, a lot cheaper. I've seen them advertised on Alibaba. I think it's a, a Chinese website. But they're all copies. And Fuji Ryoki put money into development and research. <laughs> and uh, it, it Before I go to bed at night, I come for the relaxing massage. I have no lights on. And it's, it's almost like meditating. Your mind empties. You relax totally. And these microphones will pick up all the noises on this chair. And, it, and you can hear noises. But somehow, it relaxes you so much that you can zone out or tune out. And uh, it's, it's just doing my feet at the moment on the big roller. My feet and my back, what does it say? Lumber Deep Shiatsu. So it has, I think it has three different, loads of different programs, but it has kneading, tapping, and shiatsu. just doing round the area where I would suggest your sciatic nerve Z R um, one of the when I used to go to the osteopath they used to crack your back which meant turning your legs one way your back the other way getting hold of your arms and then Dorothy used to literally drop on me, on my hips, until there was a crack in my back. And I have to say, I hated that. I always thought they were going to break my back. <laughs> and this just does it in a whole different way. It gets every part of you moving. right at the top of my back, on my neck, my arms again, it's tapping, doing that tapping sensation with the airbags on my arms, there's kind of a pad on the inside of the arm rest where your, the palms of your hand goes, it's now doing my wrists,
That's called a rolling wavelet. That's the Shiatsu stretch. You know, it's it's the the rollers at each side of my spine feel like they're being pushed in at the side of my spine and then just gently pulled out. That's the, the kind of muscle kneading movement at the side of your back, but it does both sides at the same time, which normally, again, when you're lying on your back, if somebody's massaging you, they stood at one side and they do with that side and then they go around the other and do that side. This does both sides at once. I'm, I'm trying my best not to pull faces. I, and I, I don't know what video, what this video will come out like, because I don't think it's a very flattering angle. <laughs> I'm not fantastic looking at the best of times, but at this angle, I actually feel sorry for you lot watching. <laughs> and I, I especially feel sorry for you because you, you're not sat where I am having this done to you. We've got seven minutes left. They're going to give me a stretch again, stretching the legs, calf muscles, thigh muscles, also lower back. Nothing drastic. It's, I have bags of squeezing my shoulders, it's massaging my feet. The rollers are in my back, in the middle of my back. Again, the airbag under my right buttock is just inflated, so it's turning my hips turning my hips like so. These airbags here on my waist are still fairly tight. So that makes sure I can't move. It's like a, a car, Recaro seat. It's holding me in place. So my body can't move. The, the airbag can't just push me over there and then push me that way. It's, it's making sure that it's turning me and it's turning my spine. And now each side is inflating and deflating. So it's almost like kind of riding a bike with your thighs going up and down and your back moving. Squeezing my hips now. Rollers are under my back, but wider. That says rolling knee up. The rollers are doing my feet. That's, that is right between, the two rollers there were right between my shoulder blades and they were, they were kind of doing a, a motion like so. That's uh, underneath my hips. It feels like there's a couple of airbags working at the same time to lift me up. Yes, that's exactly what happened. It lifted me up and then deflated to, to let me go down again, to move at the bottom of my back, and it's doing it again. So that's just that's just gently moving my, my back and my legs like, like so. Or, Perhaps that, that sort of angle is better. Now then, that's one airbag at the left-hand side at the top on my shoulder. 
so that's the left hand side's inflated not the right hand side so that's pushing me across and it's also inflating under my back as well so it's pushing me across and turning me there you go they're both deflated at the same time it's going to do it on the right now so my, my right shoulder is being pressed I can feel as that this comes in the airbag under my right buttock is inflating slightly and also the one um, the one here like, like the hip one and again that, that's just let me it's turned me and it's letting me go back again just very slowly no sudden movements no urgent movements just very relaxing very 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 pleasant and and sometimes it 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 hurts but in a nice way it hurts in a way that you know the muscle that's that's giving you jip is being stretched and that's just what it needs you know that it's on precisely the right point that's going to give you some comfort and some relief the waist airbags and the, the buttock airbags are inflating and, and again everything's so precise when it's the person who's doing it they um they can't be as precise as this 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 is measured to perfection you know it's it's scanned your body it knows exactly the shape of your, the curvature of your spine where it needs to be how tall you are where, where the top of your shoulders is and that's it auto power off now the it's putting the the leg section away Now, I, I can promise you, if the, the amount, I, I've not been to the, since I've got this, I haven't been for a, any treatment to the osteopath. Um, I can honestly say that this chair for me, and they're not cheap, if the people who sent me this chair now decided that they wanted it back, I would have to buy one. And I would willingly hand over the money. I'd beg them to take my money. It's fantastic. Thanks for watching. Please watch the rest of the series because... Um, I, I've I've gone through most of the menu or a, a lot of the menu, but I'm still discovering things that that you know if you just wanted if you just wanted to sit watching telly and be warm or warmer, there's a little button here. You press it, it heats up. It'll it'll stay on for sixty minutes. Warm you up for sixty minutes. It's great. You can you can find just switching it back on. You want to watch telly? I can, again, just put that back like so. It'd make a great games chair as well. Being massaged, well, you, you, I, don't, I don't do games, but if you're that tight, it's a great TV chair. I love it, honestly. It is fantastic. I, thank you so much. The, the young lady who, who who couldn't really believe I was turning it down 
or turning the opportunity to, to test it down. Thank you so much for persevering. Um, it, it's, it's, it's changed my quality of life. In two weeks, it's changed my quality of life. I'm even thinking about going back snowboarding. So watch out, watch this space. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.